it's, it's never good enough and we're always trying to make it better. And each batch is different and we try to tweak it a little bit each time we brew because we want it to be you know, the best we possibly can. And, and most people won't notice with the little tweaks that we make on each brew, but we, we can notice and uh, we hope that it's better every time we make it. There's beers that we brewed, you know, a hundred times that we still add small tweaks to it every time and just try to make it better and hopefully it turns out better. I'm living the home brewer's dream by getting paid to make beer, so no complaints from me. <laughs> Although I'm f tired. <laughs> Thankful every day I come to work and be part of a great community, be able to be creative and, and do something I love. In the boil, adding, adding hop additions, always super cool to open up a fresh bag of hops and be able to smell that aroma and then when it hits the boil, just the smell, it's probably the favorite part of the brewing process other than, you know, drinking it later on. <laughs> it's hard to wait three or four weeks to see how it's going to turn out. I wouldn't even be proud enough to say that we have the stamp of Roslyn, and that's kind of what the coolest part is, is that I want to feel that we're always working towards that one day stamp of approval. We strive for the town to love us because we love the town. We're always seeking their approval. We're always wanting to be welcomed, and we always want to welcome them. So it's like, like it's, a, it's literally a relationship that, that gives back and forth. Our company is a stamp or a reflection of the town of Rosalind, and we can't change that, and we would never want to change that. And we're called Rosalind Beer Company, um, with a lot of insight and thought to it. With all the funky names out there that we could have chosen, we wanted that name, and we don't really want it any other way. <laughs>